There is a question that nobody has bothered to ask yet regarding weather modification. In yesterday's video, we talked about the who and the why, but even the most vehement denier of this would have to take a minute and pause if they asked themselves the right question. And in today's video, we're going to cover that question. It's something that's very, very difficult to answer once you ask it. Criminals do not obey laws. That is the focus of today's video. Criminals don't obey laws. Real quick, if you'd like to join us over at the Florida Maquis Patreon channel, one US dollar per month, even less if you sign up for an entire year, fully refundable, first 90 days, no questions asked. Why do we have a Patreon channel and why do I talk about it every day? Because here on YouTube, I have to put the kid gloves on. I have to speak to you like you're a bunch of children, and I don't like to do that. I really don't. But, and no creator does, but that's just where we are right now. With the type of reach that YouTube has, however, we can go someplace else and talk like adults and talk with each other like adults. Unfortunately, there's a speed bump. One US dollar per month, lowest allowable level, even less if you sign up for an entire year. And if it's not for you, anytime you want to get up and exit the conversation, first 90 days, full refund. No questions asked. $1, $5. There's also $10 and $15 levels. These videos are not for the faint of heart, I'll warn you. These videos are for probably Gen X and older. Because even the millennials don't like the absolute stark in-your-face truth these days. They like to live in their fantasy worlds. Now, without any further delay, God bless every one of you who has signed up. Thank you so much. You're making a giant, giant difference in my life. Let's get right to it. I think we should get together, all leading free nations of the world, and we should ban the use of force choking. I mean, it's just not the right thing to do. I mean, people have disagreements, but no one should be able to reach out with their mind and close the trachea and the esophagus of, of someone they disagree with. It shouldn't be... Florida Maquis. Florida Maquis, you've lost your mind. It's make-believe. It doesn't exist. It's in the movie. It's in the movie Star Wars. And it's just a plot device. It doesn't exist. Okay, Okay, so you're saying we shouldn't bother creating laws or treaties to ban things that don't exist, right? Isn't that what you're saying? We should not bother to ban things or create treaties governing things that don't exist. So then, if HARP and Nexrad, and weather modification, that, if that doesn't exist, if that doesn't exist, can you explain the Environmental Modification Convention weather warfare ban? Yes, that's right. We have, since 1976, been signatories to a global treaty banning the use of of weather modification as a weapon of war because it did exist. The Environmental Modification Convention, NMOD, formerly the Convention on the Prohibition of Military or Any Other Hostile Use of Environmental Modification Techniques is an international treaty prohibiting the military or other hostile use of environmental modification techniques having widespread, long-lasting, or severe effects it opened for signature on 18 May 1977 in Geneva and entered into force on 5 October 1978. Now, there's been all sorts of denials and sidestepping and lawyeries on this, but it exists. This and this is 2009 to 2017.state.gov. This is the State Department of the United States. 
This is their narrative saying that uh, use of environmental modification techniques for hostile purposes does not play a major role in military planning at the present time. Such techniques might be developed in the future, however, and would pose a threat of serious damage unless action was taken to prohibit their use. In July 72, the U.S. government renounced the use of climate modification techniques for hostile purposes, even if their development were proved to be feasible in the future, hence the patents. Negotiating a treaty on environmental modification... Warfare. You see, if it didn't exist, guys, if it was just basically force choking, why would we need all of this? And this one, they don't want you reading this. This is a little blurb from the Bangor, Maine Daily News from August 13, 1975. Now, I'm just going to read a quote from this. It says, quote, it is far easier... Now, let me see who's speaking here. Informal discussions was ex with experts held by the 30-Nation Disarmament Conference here showed that the modification of, the nature of nature's forces by man is still mostly in the hypothetical stage, Joseph Martin Jr., the U.S. representative, said. However, Martin warned that enough was now understood of the potentially disastrous consequences that could result from changes wrought in the environment for military goals to, quote, say that the present time is proper time for us to give full attention to this danger. Now, here's the part. Here's the part you need to pay attention to. It is far easier and more sensible to work out measures for the control of measures for the control of new methods of warfare before these methods have been firmly established rather than after considerable time, energy, and funds have been invested in their development and in the search for countermeasures. He said, Martin listed four goals to be sought in dealing with the question of environmental modification. Prevent the emergence of dangers inherent, reserve the natural environment for mankind, promote international cooperation, facilitate environmental modification for peaceful purposes, facilitate environmental modification for peaceful purposes, facilitate environmental modification for peaceful purposes. Now, I guess that would depend on your definition of peace. You see, we have treaties also on the books that ban the use of, I guess, what you would call enhanced coercive techniques to get information out of people. We know that to be the fact. However, the only thing I can say on this platform about Abu Ghraib is just that. We'll talk about it more over Patreon. Some of you might be able to remember Abu Ghraib. We also have bans, we have laws, and we have treaties governing this, don't we? Federal Animal Cruelty Bill, signed into law, if it's you. If it's you, private citizen, how many of you saw this? With the dog standing in the puddle of water before the hurricane hit, somebody had chained it to a post, and the governor said, we're going to find who this is, and we're going to throw the book at him, we're going to put him in jail. Oh, yeah, that's right. You see, if it's Anthony Fauci, and it's the U.S. government, and it's big corporations, and Marjorie Taylor Greene calling them out, we don't pay attention to that, do we? Marjorie Taylor Greene gave a bizarre, this is, well, animal testing rant, as if there's a, a bizarre animal testing rant? Really? So you're saying that people ranting against animal testing are bizarre? That's interesting to hear liberals say. Bread to suffer, the intercept. Bread to suffer, the intercept. That's the name of the magazine it's in. Look it up. Oh, and look, Fox Sports hired Michael Vick. Huh, I wonder if that has anything to... Nah, I guess it doesn't have anything to do with anything, does it? So, I guess in closing, Mr. Biden, and the rest of you in the government, who are probably watching this video, or lackeys attached to government forces that troll and patrol YouTube for facts first, you're wrong. You're absolutely wrong. 
let's see, what was 72? Be 28, 28, 52 years ago. 52 years ago, we knew about this. We knew it was real. We knew countries would do it. We knew they had the ability to do it, the technology to do it. And so we created a treaty and some laws governing it. And now you're saying it doesn't even exist. Folks, if there was ever a definition of dark horse propaganda, I don't know where you could find a better example. This is it. Dark Horse Psychological Operations Propaganda running right up against the hard truth. Which brings me back to something that I know probably people wonder why we do it. Florida Maki, why do you harp on psychological operations? Why did you create a Patreon channel that deals solely in identifying and using the techniques taught in the military, psychological operations and propaganda? This is why. The U.S. government, criminals, the lot of them, are using high-level psychological operations technique, techniques to make you believe something doesn't exist that we have signed treaties banning. And I guess I should say government governing and controlling. Governing and controlling. This is why. There's a brigade commander's level, a unit commander's level, a need-to-know level, $5 a month, and then a base level, $1 a month. You can get in and get most of the videos, hundreds of never-before-seen videos, talking about the 24 cognitive biases and the 24 logical fallacies that allow them to walk through an open door psychologically with most Americans. Vast majority of Americans believe they have control of their minds, but the front door is standing wide open. And the back door doesn't even have a back door on it. It's basically saloon doors. Until you get read in, until you understand the 24 cognitive biases and the 24 logical fallacies, and you see how they are used, you will be a puppet. You'll be manipulated. And they'll move you wherever they want to move you. Love to have you join us. One US dollar per month, even less if you sign for an entire year. Fully refundable, first 90 days, no questions asked. Love to have you over there. Please, somebody argue, why shouldn't we ban force choking? Well, Florida Maki, doesn't it? Are you sure it doesn't exist? Are you sure? Are you read in? I mean, do you know everything that the U.S. government has, you know, gotten people to do or trained people to do with their minds? Shouldn't we get ahead of it? Shouldn't we go out right now? Okay, that's it. The use of lightsabers, the use of uh, X-wings, force choking. All of that banned. We need to get a treaty in place now for what might happen in the future. NMOD. The Environmental Modification Convention Weather Warfare Ban. Weather Warfare Ban. You know, weather warfare that doesn't exist? Weather warfare that doesn't exist. That's the question. Ask yourself why they would need laws and treaties to ban something that doesn't exist. I'll leave it there. God bless. Pray for each other. Pray for me. I'll pray for you. Lift each other up. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.